What's going on, Seaport? It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News. Now, Judge Harris Odell Jr. is demanding a apology from Linda Bryan. Linda Bryan, who I know personally, uh, she it really is a community activist. She has an upcoming event August the 6th on Sunday, you know, for the Lawrence Bryan Fourth Foundation. Uh, I will be attending that this coming up Sunday. Not this Sunday, but next Sunday. But anyways... Judge Harris O'Dell is really offended by what Linda Bryan has said on Facebook. Now, Judge O'Dell is demanding an apology and really wants a written apology for this, but Linda Bryan, she ain't budging for this. I mean, I know her personally. I just really talked to her while doing this video, funny thing about it. And, um, I mean, she's not going to budge a fold of what she said on Facebook. And even in the video, she said she's not going to take down anything. She wants people to go back and look at what she said about the community. And I will say about Linda Bryan, you know, I, I had a long, the first time I talked to her, I had like a really long conversation with her. It probably was like almost an hour long and it was really deep. You know, she was really like schooling me about, you know, Chatham County and like all the officials and really how dirty it is. And I had like no idea, like, you know, all this dirt was going on. And, like, man, it was such a, a deep conversation, man. I, I literally cried, like, just talking to her because she's just such a passionate person, you know, ever since the death of her son, which her son would have been, like, my age, like, 25. But anyways, I mean, she's so passionate about the city and everything else. So, you know, it's weird that a judge would want an apology about something that's said on social media you know, social media, everything's on social media, you know. There's something on social media that I'm sure that pretty much offends everybody. You know, even for myself, I experienced this this week, you know, where I posted something on Facebook that was posted last year, but people responded to it. The people on Facebook, y'all know what I'm talking about. And, you know, I got a whole bunch of bad uh, comments. And it's like, well... I can relate to her situation because, for one, if you don't like what I'm watching or what I'm posting, don't don't watch it. Just just don't view it. Ignore it. Block it. You can ignore me. You know you don't have to look at what I post. And the same thing goes for Linda Bryan for uh, Harris Odell Jr. You know the judge don't have to look at social media like that. I don't see why a judge would be on social media like that. But um. You know, it's just a weird situation. The only thing I think that they could legally do is probably put a restraining order. So that way she can't say anything about him on Facebook or any social media. I mean, that's the only thing that I have heard about before that uh, you can do. But I mean, is it worth it to close somebody's mouth on social media? Because it's social media. It's your thoughts. I hear the most bogus stuff on Facebook every day. And you know what? I can't really complain because not only do I follow these people, but they have their own opinion. And if I don't like their opinion, I can just unfollow them. I can block them. I can delete them. And uh, I guess that's just what people don't really understand. You know, just people just want to be have their hand held and uh, be pampered all the time. You know, people can't always handle the truth. And Linda Bryan, she really exposes the truth, man. If I could really just tell you like a fraction of what we talked about, you know, the first time I talked, man, it was just, it was deep, man. Like she, she really has the key to the city. No lie, no lie to you. You know, she knows a lot of information that I'm pretty sure uh, maybe the older people in Savannah might know. But I mean, she has a lot of information about the city and I can't, I really can't wait to have an interview with her and uh, meet up with her. Uh, you know, I just got so much stuff going on for this channel. But Linda, don't let them stop you for what you're saying on social media. You're a powerful person. Uh, you have a lot of impact on the community. And I hope you're watching this because you have a tremendous impact on the community. And, uh, you know, like I said, her foundation is on August the 6th at Forsyth Park. So I put the information in this part of the video. But that's all for right now. It's Pac-Man Jones of Savannah Seaport News, and stay blessed, Seaport.